before we begin, like and subscribe to the channel. Content, you know, pretty much daily. We got my boy, state champ, Silas. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Good, so, man, how it feel, man? Uh, it's crazy, man. Just, you know, these past few days, everybody texting me and everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just, I wouldn't say it's new, but it's just like a new experience and not everybody knowing who I am now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, would, I always wish I got one and see. That's and that's like that's Millbrook's first one mm -hmm. in ninety eight years. What's crazy is I was just at Campbell. I spoke to um, Jordan Whitfield, mm -hmm. and he was asking me about like players, you know, at Millbrook and you know everything like that. Cause that's where he went. So for you to do that and your playoff run, <laughs> yeah, a, lot of people, a lot of people said it was crazy. Yeah, it was really crazy. It's really crazy. What happened like that last possession? That last possession, like when yeah. I got a steal. Yeah, like I saw so, the timeout. So yeah, the timeout. So. We had went over a defensive scheme, and I was yeah. just like, I was going through what, who everybody should have, and I was like, all we need is a steal or a stop, and we get a timeout. Yeah. So when the play happened, I seen all three of us were like near the ball. That's so I was like, okay, he's he gonna try to split it. Yeah. And I saw the opportunity to like steal the ball, like clear so where I went foul, and I was like, I'm gonna steal and get it laid up and get this bucket, yeah. and we're gonna get this win. Damn, that's that kid gonna be traumatized. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had a little interview Damn. after it. He, he was like, I turned it over, it was all my fault. He was crying? Yeah, because he was, he was a senior. Oh, for real? Yeah. Ooh. That, that's what the bad part was, because he had missed two free throws, and then that's when I had got found him free throws, and then he got it, uh, tried to come back down, I stole it from him. <laughs> so, like, he, he had a. He had a Roll a, a scenario of bad plays. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, so you train with uh, Simmons. Yeah. Simmons is my AU coach mm -hmm. for Red Storm. A close friend of mine. Yeah, I've been um, watching y'all play. Yeah, it's like my OG. We were straight with me, him, and uh, Odie and everyone. Mm -hmm. But like, um, how y'all meet and like, what's all, like, kind of y'all relationship? Um, I remember I first met him, I was in elementary school. We all had worked out at the old teen center. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the blue court. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the blue court. Yeah, we all before. Yeah. So then we all just, we just always had a tight connection. I remember. I went back because he said we gonna have a team. And he, mm -hmm. It was eighth grade. We played red storm. Mm -hmm. That's when we like our connection like got stronger and everything. And from now on, it just went. It just grew from what it was. Mm -hmm. Did he train you like all the way up until this uh, playoffs? Like how many? Yeah, we've been we've been training every day. Every day. So, so y'all got how many like workouts y'all doing prior to you know getting into it? Shoot, how many workouts before like we really started working out? Yeah, it was like. I want to say like every Sunday we work out because we go to Voyager where he's the coach. We used to yeah. do similar shooting school. We used to put up on the size. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We used to go there every Sunday. Some either Saturday or Sunday we go and work out, get up a whole bunch of shots. Dang, I miss those days. He's going. He's going to go down like an yeah. OG. He mm -hmm. got. Well, he's done a lot of people like what Odie and for, I, I saw like where Odie was before. Like he was like nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, how he's transforming players. Like he's he's doing his thing, but like. Y'all whole year in Millbrook, y'all had like a really good year overall, mm -hmm. and you played with some great kids like um Eric and everyone. Mm -hmm. So like, how was it like as the team as a cohesive unit? Like, how like as a team, it's like you always learning something from them guys because mm -hmm. their IQ is just as good as you. So it's like it's all you always learning something with them. They always bring something new. We all it's it's like it's just a brotherhood for real because mm -hmm. we all just play together. We all have a tight bond. We all know each other outside of Millbrook. Like mm -hmm. like AAU, we always watch, come and watch each other game. So I just think we have a tight bond. That's the reason why. We were such a good team. You gonna miss playing with Eric? Yeah. You gonna miss Eric, Cause like we used to like I, I used to never want to be on his team in practice because I always wanted to beat him. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to be on his team because then it's like, who who am I gonna go against to make myself better? So it's like if I if I do that play against him in practice every day, it's making me better and him better. That's facts. Very true. Yeah, he's talented. I think mm -hmm. he should do really good at Louisville. That's a good. I think he will too. What are like some goals? Like um, you run it with Team Curry, mm -hmm. so that's official. Um, what are like your goals for this summer? I think this summer could be huge for you, especially off the year you're coming. My goal, so. my goals are, you know, just be a good teammate, be a focal leader, be a show up, continue showing I'm a true point guard, and mm -hmm. just pick up offers on you and just keep growing from there. Mm -hmm. You're going back to Millbrook for your senior mm -hmm. year, so I think yeah, this summer would be big for you. You just do what you did pretty mm -hmm. much during the school season, and I, I know Tim Curry got a solid team. So, mm -hmm. and I'm, I got solid coaches too. Yeah, solid I coaches. Talk to too. the coaches a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, you're in a good situation, and we're gonna be down there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna catch a lot of those tournaments because it's all local. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. If there's a circuit right now. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure about that too. I heard it's really not much because of what the NCAA mm -hmm. is doing so far. Yeah. So, I mean, I wish. Well, actually, it's good. I mean, everything's close by. Yeah, you know, I mean, so. we'll be able to play like uh, Nike and Adidas teams. So. Yeah. That's actually, that's actually pretty good, so. Yeah, it's COVID, not too bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask you five questions. Do you just give me the most authentic answer? You can elaborate. 
Oh, well, certain ones I want you to elaborate. Mm -hmm. I just want to hear your perspective. Favorite artist? Uh, Lil Baby. Lil Baby? Yeah. That's, that's it? Like, okay. I mean, I, I got a couple few, but like, I want to say Lil Baby sticks out the most because like, he, he doesn't miss. Yeah, he don't miss. I listen to Drake, Rod Wave, um, Young Oh, you girl. rock with Rod Wave? Yeah. You rock with Young Boy? Yeah, yeah, you definitely. definitely. <laughs> you, got, you got to throw that in. That's, that's yeah, what you got to. I listen, <laughs> I listen to J. Cole a little bit. Facts. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He's tough. Favorite NBA player? Favorite NBA player? It's LeBron, man. He's the My guy. guy. Right, right, so a lot of people, a lot of people like argue about that LeBron MJ. I don't think you can really argue that because they play two different positions. No, nah, I think no, nah, we can. Le you, I think like, certain areas you can argue, but I feel nah. like he's the goat of our generation. Yeah, I mean the thing with like the MJ and Jordan, you know, people say like he can't survive in that era. I, bro, it's he's just, he's six eight. 280, bro. I know, like I'm and saying. It doesn't make sense how people don't think he would survive in that I era. Think, I think he would kill in that That's era. That's what I'm saying. They couldn't even handle Grant Hill. That's what, what I'm you going to do with LeBron. Exactly. Grant Hill was frying people prior to his injury, so I don't know. But yeah, look, I think, I personally think LeBron the GOAT. Yeah. But MJ, I understand yeah. as well. He's 6 0 and all that. Mm -hmm. But that's it's a hard debate, but I'm going yeah. with LeBron. All right, favorite NFL team? NFL team? Mm -hmm. I don't really got one, but some teams I go for. You know, I go for the Cowboys, me and my dad team. Oh, you're a Cowboy? I'm a Steelers fan. Steelers fan? Yeah. Yo, y'all choked. Yeah, we did. Bro, I don't bad. know what happened, bro. I don't know what happened. I, y'all choked bad. I thought this was the year. I was like. Uh, it's probably Juju. Are you dancing on people's Juju. logos? Like, yeah, no. Didn't y'all lose like four straight to end the season? Yeah, we we just yeah, started taking L's. Bad. I don't know what happened. Yeah. That was pretty bad. And Antonio Brown got a ring. Then he, then he turned around and got a ring. Like, <laughs> that, look, that looks bad. Oh, that look, that's really embarrassing. So maybe he was right all along. Yeah, Who knows? He, maybe it was big, man. He did, he, did, he did start struggling toward the end of the season. Yeah, he, I, think, I think his age catching up with him. He, yeah, he probably going to retire soon. We need mm -hmm. to start. I don't know. We got to do something this draft. Got to. I need a ring. Favorite video game to play. All right, so... I mean, I and wouldn't say his favorite, so I'm, I'm a PS4 guy, PS5 Okay, okay, okay. I don't really like the Xbox, too fat of a controller. Thank you. But um, favorite game to guy. play? Um, either 2K, Madden, or Warzone. You be on, I'm on Warzone yeah, I've been I've been on it a lot lately. I just, I started playing it over quarantine. Yeah, it's, it's lit. Yeah, yeah it, it is. The graphics, it is. PS5 it, graphics. It's so much crazy. better. It is way, it's 30 times better. I'm like, we gotta get on. I'm dumb night. I go crazy. I'm, I'm I wouldn't like, say I'm nice, but I'm not that bad. I go crazy. Well, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years? Yeah. What is that? Five years from now. So, so you'll be, uh, well, I'm 16 now, so 21. 21, yeah. So I just see myself still in college or in the league. In the, in if not in the league, being an entrepreneur, promote my own brand. What's something you want to do? Like I outside want, of I want to, like, outside of basketball, I want to be an entrepreneur, have my own brand. Cause I want people. I want to run own, my own company. I don't want to work. I never want to work. Yeah, with I never. Nobody. It's so you doing this right now? <laughs> I never, I never want to work. Bro, I want to be able to tell people what to do. I just I got fired like before, cause I was at Bama like mm -hmm. for one year. But prior to that, I worked a pizza job for literally two weeks. <laughs> I got I was delivering pizzas. I got fired after two weeks. And um, this, the lady who snitched she snitched on mm -hmm. me because she said. Prior to like my deliveries, I would like sit in the car mm -hmm. and I took like a, there's this guy who tips like $50 legit and he would always like order every day. So I would always take those. I'm like, yo, I'm not I, about to be sitting I here. I that too. I was like, yo, you think I'm going to just let you? Like, no, nah, exactly. I'm taking that. So I guess she said like, oh, he's always on his phone and she said to the manager and then I got fired after, I got an email and I was like, dang, but I was already going to Bama. She so. was hating. She was yeah, hating. Big hating. Yeah, so. She was hating. I wouldn't want to work with nobody. So like, yeah. I feel you on that. But it was good luck. And then like, subscribe to the channel. Um, and, you know, follow my boy Silas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put his thing right here. So it was good seeing you, bro. You too, bro. I you know, appreciate you. So.